Work is underway right now to identify human remains found in the Smoky Mountains National Park this week. You know, we told you Monday park officials say a hiker made the discovery off the park trail near Laurel Creek Road. The remains are believed to be several months old. New here at 4, WATE 6 on your side reporter Kirsty Crawford spoke with renowned forensic anthropologist Dr. William Bass to find out how older remains can be identified. She joins us now here in the studio. Interesting, Kirsty. Yes, and as many you know, uh, as many know, I'm sorry, Dr. Bass started the body farm at UT. Because of the work he has done there, he's helped authorities in hundreds of cases to identify remains or find out how they died, including several cases in the Smoky Mountains. The skeleton is really a library of the history of that individual. Just by looking and feeling the bones, a forensic anthropologist can find important clues. In 10 minutes, I could tell you, I think the age and the sex of the individual. Race would take a little longer. Dr. William Bass has been studying bones for decades. He says investigators usually first ask the person's age. Forensic anthropologists can determine age several different ways. If you find the bone and pick it up and both ends are attached, you know that individual is at least uh, 16 for females, 18 for males. The older the person, the more frail the bones are. Teeth also show age. Are all the baby teeth gone? Uh, are all the teeth in, are the third molars in? The third molars in, you know it's 18. Next, identifying the sex. Dr. Bass says there are two main areas to focus on the skull and the pelvis. You're looking at a long pubic bone in females and a wide sciatic notch. In some cases, identifying remains can be easier or harder. There's a bone that was broken at one time and it is healed and the healing is good. So it's been set in a cast and so there should be a record of that somewhere. Nature makes cases harder. Dr. Bass says during the summer months in Tennessee, bodies decompose faster. Animals, though, can ruin the whole story. There are three canids that are attracted to decaying bodies, dogs, coyotes, and bears. And in the Great Smoky Mountain one, you would have a possibility of all three of those. It could be a while before we know more about the remains found there this week. And it was a very fascinating conversation. Dr. Bass knows a lot. He's very informative and he's well known for re-examining the big boppers bones years after the infamous plane crash and the Lindbergh baby kidnapping case. Goodness. All right, Kirsty, thank you so yes, very much. Kirsty yeah. told me she could have talked to him oh, all day. Exactly. If you ever hear him speak somewhere as well, since he does a number of lectures, just Unbelievable. It's amazing yeah. learning about this process. No doubt. Well, Great Smoky Mountain Park Rangers say they are now waiting for the forensic lab to identify the body before releasing any more information. Of course, we're going to let you know when we find out more details.